Imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. In this video, I'll be collaborating with Erica Kay on a video about the Law of Attraction. Erica is a fantastic creator and individual, someone who has a great knowledge on the Law of Attraction and practices all that she talks about. She's been incredibly supportive of this channel and of this collaboration. For all of this, I'd like to begin with a heartfelt thank you, and I ask that you support Erica in all that she creates. I'll be linking her channel down in the description for you. Today's video is about the Law of Attraction, but I'd like to look at the subject from a slightly different perspective, delving into why the practice is widely adhered to today, and how it influences our body and mind, citing research conducted on various practices done when using the Law of Attraction, and specifically, why this helps you manifest the reality you wish to have. So if all of that sounds of interest, please stay tuned as we'll look into multiple areas which are covered in this video with the other part on Erica's channel. So let's not waste time and get into discussing the Law of Attraction. Self-image. It all starts from within. Life perspective changes completely when we change our self-image. When we see ourselves worthy, valuable, special. When we love and respect ourselves, but most importantly, when we believe in our capabilities. Our reality is a reflection of our inner reality. Our inner state is everything. People will see you and treat you just the way you see and treat yourself. You don't really attract what you want. You attract what you are. Become aware of your self-image, the way you perceive yourself, your thoughts and beliefs about yourself. Your self-concept. Become aware of your inner conversation, the things you say to yourself and the relationship you have with yourself. Every day is a new opportunity to reinvent ourselves, to let go of what no longer serves and become a better version of ourselves. You're not your past. The past does not define who you are. You decide who do you want to be and where do you want to go. Your self-image is your choice. Give yourself permission to be who you want to be. Affirmations Affirmations can be highly effective in promoting self-confidence and belief, meaning you can push forward and live your life in a positive way. However, the act of saying affirmations correctly is fundamental though as they need to be structured in a way that's effective. To help ensure I do this correctly, I generally follow a few basic principles, including, first and foremost, I start affirmations with I am. Secondly, I make the affirmation something I control, so rather than saying I am going to get 100,000 subscribers in the next year, I'll say I have the strength and capabilities to reach 100,000 subscribers in the next year. Finally, I wholly and completely believe in my affirmations, as any doubts will immediately reduce its efficacy. Interestingly, in studies conducted by Falk and colleagues in 2015 and Caschio and colleagues in 2016, affirmations were found to have created neural pathways that help in the process of positive evaluation and self-related information processing meaning you'll principally develop greater confidence, with the former study suggesting that the result is that we can better utilise the information about ourselves that we get on a day to day basis. We're constantly manifesting, whether we believe in the law of attraction or not. Everything we're experiencing in our reality is a manifestation from yesterday's thoughts, words and actions. The key is becoming aware of our thoughts and our inner dialogue our beliefs and feelings, recognizing our negative thinking patterns, all of our fears and doubts. It is our dominant thoughts, dominant vibration and dominant beliefs what creates reality. It's our choice what we want to focus our attention on, it's our choice what we want to believe in, and it is our choice what kind of thoughts do we allow ourselves to have. We can take control over our mind, but it isn't about avoiding the negative thoughts and ignoring our negative emotions. 
It's about becoming aware of those thoughts and recognizing the way that we feel. It's about learning to observe the thought from a neutral point of view and taking the time to understand where is it coming from, what stories are we telling ourselves, and becoming aware of our limiting beliefs. Awareness is the key. When we recognize the way that we feel and accept it, we can then transmute those negative thoughts and emotions into awareness and freedom. We can then tell ourselves a new story. We can substitute the negative thoughts for positive ones and create new beliefs. Place your focus on what truly matters. Focus only on what you want. What you focus on grows. Breathing. Breathing is intrinsically linked to our state of being at all times. This is most obvious in terms of how we see change in breathing patterns when our state changes. When calm or stress free, our breathing will usually be deep and slow, whilst it becomes more shallow and quick when stressed. Many traditional practices do breathing exercises to help control your state and gain various health benefits. Most prominent or well known is probably pranayama exercises in yoga, where various breathing exercises are done, each with their own individual benefits. However, it has many other benefits, such as studies conducted with Wim Hof, showing it can help influence and strengthen your immune system, lower blood pressure, help calm you down and help improve memory. Similar to the previous points, these benefits can all help you develop as you work towards manifesting the reality of your dreams. As you can see, practicing the law of attraction and the methods used within it can have significant influences on both the mind and body. With this in mind, I go back to the quote I started this video with from Albert Einstein, which is use your imagination, visualize your future and manifest it into your life. Thanks for watching. As mentioned before, I'd like to thank Erica for this amazing collaboration and hope it was of value to you. Erica has also done a video on her channel, so please be sure to check it out.